Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some of the games that I play with my dog Penny. So these games are games that can be first used to introduce your dog to nose work. Nose work is, um, can be a competitive sport. It's kind, kind of something that people like agility that people can enroll their dogs in and it's a good bonding experience. It's also fun for the dog and it provides really good enrichment and mental stimulation for your dogs. So I think that um, enrichment and mental stimulation is really important in dogs, just as important as physical um, stimulation because a happy, happy dog is healthier and enrichment makes a dog happier. Um, it also keeps them from becoming bored and when a dog is bored, that's when destruction of behaviors or sorry, destruction of um, belongings, destruction of the house happens and when unwanted behaviors occur. So enrichment is something to really consider important to keep in your dog's life. The, this is just one example of enrichment. There are a lot of other things that you can do. This will help build a dog's confidence so it's really good for shy or fearful dogs. They become more confident and then they're less shy and less fearful around whatever is making them shy or fearful. And um, you also build a really strong bond with your dog. Your dog learns that you are fun, you're enjoyable to be around. When you're around, good things happen and your dog just really bonds to you and you have a really good relationship with your dog. I also like nose work because it is kind of a natural thing dogs are already really good at smelling and it just builds on what they can already do so it's kind of like instinct and um, Penny seems to have a lot of fun with it. She also gets a lot of treats which is always a good thing for her. Oh yeah I also just want to mention that before doing these games with your dog it might be a good idea to have your dog learn some of the basic commands like wait, sit, stay, um, stuff like that just so that they're able to pay attention to you and listen to the directions and understand the game and kind of know what's going on. So for all these games um, Penny needs to know the word find it. You can use um, whatever word you want and that's just kind of like the signal like there's something here for you to sniff out and find. So I'll show you how I taught her the word find it and what it means first. So the first step is teaching your dog the words find it or whichever word you choose. I did this by hiding treats in the grass. You can use different la grass lengths for different um, difficulty. So I first get her attention by having her sit. Then I say, Penny, find it. In the beginning, when she's just learning, um, she can see where I throw the treat. She gets When she gets better and finds it too quickly, and it's become too easy, I will throw the treat when she isn't looking. So this just kind of teaches her that when I say find it, there is a treat somewhere close by that she has to find. So at first, yeah, she can see where it goes, but then I'll get her to do something and so her back is turned. She knows the command dance, which she spins in a circle, so you might see her do that. And while she she's spinning in a circle, I throw the treat, and then I say find it, and she doesn't know where the treat um, went because she was occupied. Um, and always give her praise when she does find the treat. Repeat, repeat the command again. Say, good, good girl, Penny, good girl, good find it, every time she finds it and starts chomping on the treat. So once your dog knows what find it means, you can do some different games. After your dog is able to find it in the grass, you can use a box and toilet paper rolls or toilet um, towel rolls and hide the treats in a box. So this is a larger box and I just stand up the rolls in the box and then I place the treats inside the rolls. Larger boxes are easier so you can start with a large box and then move down to a smaller box once your dog gets it. 
So I get her to sit first, I say find it, and then she goes and starts searching. You might need to first point it out to your dog or maybe even let your dog see you put the treats in the box. You can also do a game like this with your cat. I find it helpful when the cat sees me put the treats in, in the box and in the tubes and I have to kind of point it out. So let's see how Josie does. Sometimes um, cats and even dogs, they'll need help. I kind of need to remind them that, hey, the treats are over here. Um, this is always when they're just beginning and just learning and they usually catch on and will need less and less help. You can also put food in everyday play items to make um, those items a little more interesting and to give a little challenge. So you can see there's kind of some brown, brown circles in there that they're trying to get out. So once your dog finds a large box too easy, you can use a smaller box and stuff the rolls into the box. So in this example, they're all tight and touching and they're, they don't come out easily. Put the treats inside the rolls and let your dog try again. So remember to use the command find it and then you might have to point your dog to the box or your dog will just know by now. So once your dog has become really good at knowing what find it means and finding um, the roll, the treats in the rolls and the tubes, you can use the paper towel rolls in another way to hide, um, hide treats around your house. So I use bigger treats like this and I hide them around the house. First to get your dog used to the game, I hide them without the rolls. 
So this example will be showing you without the rolls. I just hide them in different spots and different um, levels. So some are close to the ground and some are up a little bit higher. So there's different kind of variety. And then I let my dog inside. So you have to hide them while your dog is not in the room or outside. Once I let her in, I say, find it, and she begins to search. Um, throughout the search, I might need to repeat, find it every once in a while to get her a little bit more motivated. So there she found the first treat, and I'll praise her and she'll eat the treat. When she's finished eating, I'll repeat the command find it so she knows that there are more treats to find. So uh, here Penny was having some trouble, she had been circling for a while, so I stood by, by um, close to where the treat was, which was in this tower, and I said, find it, and um, I was just standing next to it, and she ended up coming to around where I was, and I guess smelt it, and was able to locate it. So if your dog is having trouble, definitely help them out so they don't get frustrated and they'll just um, get better and better and need less and less help as the more they play. So you can help them out by standing close to um, where the treat is hidden or pointing it out, repeating the command find it, or even making the treat a little more visible. Like right here, it's behind the pillow. There, she found it. So now, <clears throat> so now that all the treats are found, I use a word like finish, and um, that just lets her know that there are no more treats to be found. I also use the word finished when she's playing a game or when we're on a walk or when something's ending, just so she knows it's over. So once she's, your dog is able to find the treats um, without, just loose, without the paper towel roll, make a little kind of pocket like this with the paper towel roll. So I just fold both ends in, put the treat inside and close it up. Um, you can also make them smaller by cutting them in half and just repeating the same thing, making little pockets and putting the treat in. So this makes it harder to smell and also the dog has the added bonus of opening up the pocket when they find the treat. Um, my dog really likes to tear up um, paper and paper towel rolls and rip up cardboard and things like that so she has fun um, trying to get the treat out. So now I'm going to hide these, four of these around the house in another room. So again, I'm putting them at different levels, some on the ground, some up high, and some kind of in the middle. So she remembers to look up instead of just down. So let her in the room and give her the command, find it. So 
she starts looking in the wrong room, so you can just help her out by taking her to the right room. This game can also be played outside. You can hide these little pockets with treats around your yard or anywhere, anywhere that um, your dog is familiar with and can search. If your dog has a favorite toy or ball, you can also hide those and have your dog search for it. Penny loves um, balls, so she would search for those around the house as well. After she finds the toy or treat, it's always a good idea to play, play with her with the toy for a bit. Then she gets the, another reward, just as her reward for finding these little pockets is eating the treat. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and come back for more ideas of fun things to do with your dog and all my other pet videos.